by Taj and the Ambra. So the question is, what's one of the hardest things you've been through in life that you didn't even think you could get through, but you did? And how did you do it? Um, the hardest thing in life. The hardest thing in life. One of the hardest things. My most recent that I went through, um, I was pregnant eight months ago, mm -hmm. and um, I had my daughter. Mm -hmm. She was premature, but she was going through so much. I honestly thought she was gonna die. I mean, she had like two, um, no, three blood transfusions. Mm -hmm. She couldn't breathe on her own. She weighed the pound. I mean, why? I was pregnant with her. Mm -hmm. Her um, heartbeat kept dropping. Mm -hmm. You know, they were telling me there's a chance that she's not going to make it. Mm -hmm. She was barely moving in my stomach. Mm -hmm. um, when she was born, she wasn't even connected to the placenta. Oh, wow. So that right there, it really tore me apart because it was like, basically they were just telling me that my daughter was not going to make it. You know, and from when I got pregnant, I was just like so excited. Like, you know, that's like a new joy in life. Like, it's like a new beginning. Absolutely. And um, for me to be going through the problems that I was going through and for the doctors to not be encouraging me as much, you know, but encouraging me with just negative, you know, words, it was just like breaking me down so much, breaking me down so much. But mm -hmm. I honestly just put my faith in God and I just knew I was going to overcome. And thankfully today she's doing so I like a thousand times better a thousand times better so that was like a most recent you know tragedy that I've been through okay very well how did you feel at first before you got through it like how did you feel and what helped you take the first step to saying you know what I'm going to choose to be positive and make the best of it honestly the way I felt I never regretted being pregnant but I was just like why did it have to be me like why did why do I have to go through this right now but um I'm just like people go through stuff you know yes. people lose babies you know and I had to think like people somebody is going through something way worse than me like somebody just lost their baby and somebody you know it's people who can't have kids that really want kids you know so you know and I'm like she was born you know and it don't matter if she weighs a pound you know she was still born and she was still here so that's that's what made me look and be like she's here she's in the hospital she's fighting for her life so why am I not you know why am I not, you know, be basically like... Seeing the best of right, the situation. exactly. Okay, very well. And were there other people that helped you? Like, you said you got a lot of support. Yes, yes. Talk um, a little bit more about the support that you got and how daughter, it helped you. I, I, have, I had so much support, you know, from my mother, my daughter's father, mm -hmm. my friends, my mother friends. It was just like, that's why I thank God that I had the support system that I had. You know, and thankfully that... um. I also had a friend that went through the same situation that I went through. I also knew a couple of people that went through the same situation that I went through. And they were telling me, like, look at our kids today. Like, you grew up with them or you watched them grow. Like, it, it's going to it's gonna be okay. You're going to overcome it. And, you know, so it was just like... So it helps a lot to have a good support system. You it's can't do everything on your own. Yeah. yeah. All right. Very well. All right. What, what, what about... Did it take a lot at first when you heard the news and you were going through all of this? Did it take a lot for you to open up to your support system? Because a lot of times people have a support system, right. but they don't quite tap into right. it. Well, because I mean, they feel right. nervous about what people would think right. or what they will say. Right. What made you feel like, oh, I feel comfortable opening up? Well, honestly, at first I didn't. Like, I kept, you know, a lot of... Um, it's a lot of opinions to myself. Yes. You know, I was only speak on when I wanted to speak on. But then again, I'm like, that's not helping me. Like, I need to be openly so I can get over how I'm feeling. And so I was just, you know, I just started to just be 100% honest with her. I felt don't hold nothing But back it wasn't in. easy at first. No, it wasn't. It, it definitely wasn't. What helped you say, take the first little baby step to talking about what you were going through? What helped you take that first step or talk to that first person? saying you know what I've got to talk about this you know because you know as I just mentioned like um to me my situation it wasn't a tragedy but I I consider it tragedy because I'm gonna lose my daughter mm -hmm. so to me that is tragedy mm -hmm. and um 
that was just like basically my first step like and god forbid if she don't make it at least they know i spoke upon it at least they know how i felt about the situation because as long as i hold it in nobody will never know how i felt and, and you want people to get the help exactly and get the help so it was like i had no choice honestly so it's a great I, help to talk to people and open up yes and share what's is. going on it with is. you it is. okay very well because they people can be very supportive very supportive yeah and then like when i opened up i realized how much people went through the same situation or you know people that i knew that knew people that went through the same situation and i i didn't even know that and i've been you know been with them so it's like it's good because you know you listen to other people experiences and it give you coverage you know and strength to very well very well so don't hold it all in exactly share what's going on with you exactly and i had to realize that yes because there are people who are who do care because sometimes I think when we want to open up, we hesitate because we think that people are going to judge us. What do you have to say about that? People are going to judge you regardless. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like we live in a judgmental world, especially with society and the media, you know. So it's like it is what it is. It's either you're going to be yourself or you're not. You're going to express yourself or you're not. Very well. Any last words you would have to say to someone who is going through the same situation right now that you went through? Um, just, just have faith and um, just have faith and you'll get over it. You know, the situation will always be better. Like, don't think with a negative mindset because you will bring nothing but negative. Always have a positive mindset. So things can get better. Yes. Even though you don't see how it's going to get better, it can. Yes, basically. Very well. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome.